Nori Jenkins, 76, was in Mallorca for his son's wedding when he suffered a severe stroke in June this year. His partner, Annie Andrews, a retired nurse, found him slumped on a bench outside their apartment. Twelve days before the trip the retired engineer had experienced a mini-stroke, or tear, and the Glasgow couple had agonized over the decision to travel abroad. Ms. Andrews said, being a nurse, I knew it was a stroke right away, and a major one. I felt instantly sick and thinking we'd made the wrong choice in coming out, and then of course there was the language barrier of trying to tell the apartment manager that I needed an ambulance right away. Ironically, the decision to go to Spain probably ensured the father of three made the best possible recovery since doctors in Palmer were able to perform a thrombectomy, a procedure unavailable in Scotland. The doctor in Mallorca told me that, in all probability, he would have been permanently disabled and that he probably would never have spoken again, said Ms. Andrews. We'll never know, but the thrombolysis, which he would have got here, didn't work. He had no movement, no speech, so that's probably how he would have been. After the Spanish medics operated on Mr. Jenkins to physically remove the blood clot blocking his artery, he was transferred to intensive care. Ms. Andrews said, I was absolutely amazed that he was able to speak again although he was still quite confused. He also had regained movement to his arm and leg. Ms. Andrews, 69, stresses that the care her partner has received on the NHS since they returned has been superb, but said it was heartbreaking that stroke patients in Scotland were missing out on thrombectomy. She said, when he's tired he's still got a weakness on his right-hand side and he will sometimes struggle to find his words. But on the whole, all the cognitive stuff has come back. He's started doing crosswords again. The only thing he's not back to yet is his golf. Our family is one of the lucky ones and that just isn't fair. I believe that everyone who is suitable for this treatment should be able to get it. For more on this story, visit the news article link.